Hello and welcome to hsvmobile.com. Here we have the Nokia N900 review. This is Nokia's tablet phone. Let's review it. So the design is very nice, matte finish on the back and the edges. The screen compartment is glossy. On the top of the phone we will have this hole. Um, this is the mini USB port for charging and connecting to computer transferring media. Of course, it's got 32 gigabytes built in speaker. On the side, we have the volume rocker, a power button, dedicated camera. On the bottom, we have another speaker, so two speakers there, so it's really nice volume. This is the uh, sleep weight button slider, 3.3.5 millimeter headphone jack, your, your microphone for talking. And the stylus, it is a resistive touchscreen, not capacitive, but it is as good as a capacitive. On the back we have the card Z lens, 5 megapixel, with dual LED flash. Comes with a nice kickstand. Size-wise, Nokia N86, it's bigger and a bit thicker. An iPad, oh, iPad, it is much smaller. So let's start it up with this power button. Slide to unlock. I'll use the stylus so my fingers don't block the screen. So, like an iPhone, Android, slide it. You get your time here, you get your carrier, your data, how much bars of signal you have, your battery. It is meant to be held like a landscape because of this Cori keyboard and this is one of the best keyboards even better than the Blackberry keyboards it's got three rows you have to use this arrow to use the numbers the blue stuff it's FN functioning button and it's really a nice nice feature so you have your home screens for putting widgets and when you want to use it as a phone, autom automatically turns portrait. So, in portrait, you have all your contacts like that, and the dialing pad. Of course, you can also use your skin because it does act like a capacitive, although it is a resistive. You can use a stylus. So, that's nice. And of course, it's a uh, tablet, tablet phone, so you can do multitasking like that. You click this arrow, uh, you click this, and that's just to exit out of the app. This is to uh, activate multitasking. So all your open windows will be like this. And just touch anywhere in the background to go back to the home screen. So here you have a little get started guide. These are some of my videos. I've got my messaging, my gallery, stuff like that so that's just multitasking you can always go back to it like that so the phone ready just click back go back to multitasking let's go to the main menu so we have web we have your gallery your media player so really nice for music Volume up and down to the rocker. Really nice functions. You can even play while it's in sleep mode. So let's pause that and go back. Oh, I can always do the multitasking like that. I can task manager. Let's go to back to the home menu. Let's see video playback on this video. My gallery here. So it's really nice to watch video and of course we have a kickstand, nice speakers, so it's good enjoyment. Let's close that and go back. Let's exit. So that's media, we have calendar. Nice if you're a busy person. Uh, let's go back to the menu. It vibrates when you touch the screen, that's good. Browse through photos and stuff like that. 
I won't show you photos because that's personal. Contacts, your phone, you have maps. It's got built-in GPS. You can use email. I'll back to, get back to camera in a second. You can have your MMS messaging. You can have a clock, setting alarm. You can have world clocks, stuff like that. You have a calculator, nice utility. It's not going to be scientific. So, not to be disappointing. OV Store is Nokia's answer to like the App Store. You can download games and stuff like that here. And just settings here to personalize. And more is just features like some widgets. App Manager, Documents to Go, Facebook, Weather, RRS Feed, PDF Manager, Sketching, Making Drawings, it's really nice. Of course, to make it multitask, top left, and it's multitasking now. But why would I need to multitask for this? Camera, 5 megapixel, open it up go straight and it's really nice let me just show it through here you can take really nice pictures let's go back up a bit so it's a really nice camera 5 megapixel will get you around well if you want to use it just take a picture of a stylus Camera key here, processing image, and it's done. So that was nice. Now it is a tablet computer. You can see we had the my office, the documents to go. It can do pretty much what the computer can, and what computers are good for is the internet. So. Let's load up the web. Connect to my Wi Fi. So let's do a speed comparison of the iPad versus the Nokia N900. So I'm going to go to in gadget. I'm ready here. I'm going to click start at the same time. So you might not see this, but I'm going to click it. 3, 2, 1. And you can see iPad's bar is there. I'll just bring the Nokia phone. This. The iPad bar on the top is nearly done, and so is the Nokia's here. Nokia's done, iPad is done. So it was a draw. So that is how good this. Nokia browser is just same exact speed as the iPad and of course it has also flash to render so that's another good side it's got built-in flash so you can watch YouTube one thing it's not got pinch it's not got multi-touch basically it's got scrolling double tap to zoom in and also you can just use a spiral to zoom in and out. Let me show you YouTube playback. It's going to go to YouTube really fast. But flash works anyway. Flash just works. Quickly. What's this? I'm running out of time. Come on. 40 seconds left, come on. I need to update Adobe Flash. So that's not good. So there must be a software update for that. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is the Nokia N900 review. Great phone, 10 out of 10. It's really nice to use great phone fits in your pocket fine that's the phone thank you for watching hsvmobile.com thank you bye